And my cord's caught on my armrest. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the most pissed off podcast on the planet, where I am about to pull every hair out of my head, every toe off my foot, every inch of paint off these walls. It's been one of those days. <laughs> it sounds like it has been for Jaren as well. But, you know, we are just so dedicated to you guys that we're still here, still grinding out the episodes yep. for you guys. Despite the fact yep. that this day can kiss both of my cheeks up and down. Mm. Yes, We're please. still here. <laughs> <laughs> Evan, um, Evan goes. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you follow along schedule or have read the title of this, probably the latter, you will know that today is Movies Not Music. It is the latest, newest episode. I'm done saying episode think, numbers because I, I really I think it's episode don't nine, though. I think it's We're going to say episode 9. Because episode... I, I, I edit them, and so I have a vague idea. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have a vague idea of where we're at. So I think it's episode 9. We're going to guess that? it's episode 9 of <coughs> Movies Not Music. Gosh, sorry. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Jaren, would you like to introduce it, the movie, or do you want me to? Sure, sure. We're doing uh, Ocean's Eleven. That's the movie that we did. I I will be full disclosure. I wanted to. I only watched like the first third of this movie. I've seen it before. It's just been a while, and I needed a refresher. But I I just didn't have enough time to watch the whole thing. So I'm pretty fresh on like the first like forty five minutes. <laughs> but other than that, you could watch like a summary or something. Uh, I, yeah, it's fine. I remember most of it. We'll just we'll just have to rely on you to be like, hey, Jaron, that's wrong. There was if a I really I'm, there's a really cool moment in this movie I'm going to get to. So. Okay. I will already say that like re when I like went into it rewatching this movie. Oh, by the way, I guess this movie is directed by Steven Soderbergh. I think 2001 is when it released and it's like a heist movie. And it's called Ocean's 11. Because... I have a synopsis if we'd like to read it. Oh, let's do that. We should do that. That's a good point. That's a good point. So, I'll take the shorter one. So, Dapper Danny Ocean, a.k.a. George Clooney. Now I know who George Clooney is. Oh, didn't I? I, I probably mentioned him last episode or something, didn't I? He was a name that I've always I've always heard the name I George think, Clooney and everyone's grandma wanting him. George Clooney, but I never knew who he was. So, yeah. That was kind of cool. Not so, too. George Clooney is Dapper Danny Ocean. What a name, by the way. And Dapper Danny Ocean Actually, is a... You didn't know this, and I know you're doing this on accident. At least I'm pretty sure you are. There's a movie called Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? With the fire soundtrack, by the way, because Alison Krauss is on it. And George Clooney is in that movie. And in that movie, he says that he's a dapper Dan man. Ah. And I don't think you did that on purpose. But it's a type of pomade that you like put in your hair to slick it back. And so like he's at a store and he's like, I no, want No, literally, I'm just Dan. reading this. Anyway, it says dapper Daniel. Dapper Ocean's. Danny Ocean. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why don't you look at that? I wonder if they did that on purpose or if it's just... Probably, I don't know. He is dapper, though, so... He's he's getting on our level. He's getting there. Yeah, yeah. And Danny Almost Ocean... as suave as me. <laughs> is yeah. a man of action. Less than 24 hours... Uh, by the way, his... I would like to take this time to announce that I am the next James Bond. Uh, because I am just so suave. Evan is like... <laughs> I've tried to read this synopsis like seven times. But before you, I would like to announce that I'm literally going to lie here. I would like to interrupt this synopsis. I would like to spout a lie in order to interrupt Evan. I'd like to interrupt this to talk out of my cheeks, please. Um, I'm also turning my mic volume down because I'm talking way too loud for how close I am to it. Uh, all right. So now that Jaren's hopefully done. I'm done. Fantasizing over James Bond. Daniel Ocean is a man of action. Less than 24 hours into his parole from a New Jersey penitentiary, the wry, charismatic thief is already rolling out his next plan, following three rules. Don't hurt anybody, don't steal from anyone who doesn't deserve it, and play the game like you've got nothing to lose. Danny orchestrates the most sophisticated, elaborate casino heist in history. So, essentially what he does is he gets out of jail, and he's like, we're back at it, boys. And they're getting the band back together. Not really, because they were never together in the first place. They get this crazy team of, like, some the Asian God guy squad. from a circus. <laughs> they got some monster truck driving dude from Iowa. And they make this massive... Not massive. There's, like, a 10-person team. And they... 11. 11. 11. Ocean's, Ocean's oh, 11, if you will. Oh, true. 
Wait, uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Did you je- hold up? Well, why like, would I know there's eleven guys on this? No, but but because they say it. There's like a whole thing. Okay, okay, okay. Early in did the I movie, miss that? Early in the movie, George Clooney and Brad Pitt are sitting at a bar. That's I knew I recognized and, the guy. And Brad Pitt. What other movie was Brad Pitt just in? Just laying there with his head on. On uh, he's just laying his head down. And George Clooney's like, "We got ten guys. That's probably enough, like, right?" No way. Brad Pitt says nothing. Just popped out. And then George Clooney is like, "Oh, maybe we. Maybe it's not enough. Maybe we need eleven. And that's like that. It's Ocean's Eleven. There's eleven guys. That's why I ain't gonna called, lie. That's why it's called Ocean's Eleven. I ain't gonna lie. I, I my stupid armrest accidentally pulled my uh, headphones out. So I'm gonna need you to repeat the la- like why it's Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's there's eleven guys, right? That whole scene is like they have ten dudes. They need an eleventh guy, and the eleventh guy is played by Matt Damon. He's like the pickpocket, the sneaky boy. Um. And so the movie's called Ocean's Eleven because it's. It is Ocean's 11. So do they get another teammate when it goes Ocean's 12? Yeah, there's 12 of them in the next one, and then there's 13 in the one after that. <laughs> then I come along, and it's Ocean's 1, because I it's don't Ev- know It's Ev- Evan's 11. No, it's Evan, because I don't need it's no just, help. It's, yeah, I'm a lone it's... wolf. I heist the bank <laughs> on my friggin' own, because I'm like that. Okay, okay. He just um... built different. <laughs> So, hey, everybody's hustle look a little bit different. Everybody's gonna... hustle. Y'all can we're... build these big, <laughs> fancy teams Bro, of 11 We're going to we're gonna somehow find a way to say that in every episode since we first said it. It's but it's true. Episode. But at the same time, like, why would I need 11 people when I could just go rob the casino myself? Yeah, you know. Like, I'm just going to break in, mm-hmm. go to the safe, get into the safe without anyone seeing, take the money and leave. Why do I need 11 people to do yeah, that? Yeah, just do it. Like... It, that's not, if, I, if people would just wake up early and go at it, they could do it. Yeah. So rise and, rise and grind, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. Andrew Tate, just work hard and be proud of yourself. <laughs> just do things. Yeah. It's I like somebody... Up and... <laughs> Bro, my brother got cancer yesterday. I mean, how about he not... Like, what if he just didn't, though? That's that. That's my whole <laughs> philosophy on life. What if he just <laughs> beat it? Huh? Maybe maybe beat it. Beat it. Idiot. <laughs> Like, bro, come on. You're, you're going to let cancer be? Okay, we're going to get canceled. <laughs> um, it's a joke. It was satire. Cancer sucks. Mine wasn't. I fully lived my life by it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um, I wasn't joking. <laughs> I was not kidding. Like, if you get cancer, just beat that. No. Um, <laughs> uh, Where were we? What were we, talk- what were we talking about? Why it's called Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> yeah, and how... Did you, like, actually not, like, realize that while, it, like... Uh, I literally... Like Must even after the movie the was over. on eleven. Well, okay, yeah. There's eleven. I'm so them, bad at watching movies, bro. It's nuts. It's all, I don't well, know how I missed that. <laughs> it, well, it's not even like they're not trying to hide it, but they. I guess they'd also like. There's a whole scene where they're like, "Yeah, we got ten guys. Do we need an eleventh one?" <laughs> it's like <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anywho, look, like, they get the scene together and they rob this casino. It's crazy and everything, but the catch is the casino owner uh is currently dating george clooney or daniel's ex-wife mm. and he wants the wife back so as much as it is a heist it's also like i didn't get um, to that part yet i remember that now that you say it mm-hmm. but i it's, hadn't gotten to that part it's uh it's also daniel trying to win his wife back mm. and he has some pretty clever tactics of doing that it's a pretty sick movie like this has got to be that right yeah. away. This is either it's either this or Casino Royale for me. Okay, something I was about, gonna say something about card game movies, man. They're just so. Ice I was gonna cold. say so. I when I had started rewatching this last night, I was like, I think Evan's gonna like this one because of Casino Royale. There's gambling. Oh, there's something that, about some nice suits. Evan just likes the, the idea, the concept of gambling his mo- his life away. You know, like just losing it all. You know, sending your family into crippling debt, getting I arrested. Love it. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I love putting my family through that. So. <laughs> what is. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I don't even. It's like the. I wanted to be like Drizzy there or whatever his name is. You go, what do you mean by that? <laughs> mean by that? <laughs> oh. Mean? Oh, is that. I think that's Charlemagne the God, right? I don't know. So he's like, he's the guy. He's like, what do you mean by that? I think he, I, I'm pretty sure that's Charlemagne the, the camera God and goes, that said that. What do you mean by that? Hold on, now this is bugging me. Uh, All right, guys, Char- we're gonna take a break from Ocean's Lemaine Eleven to 
<laughs> to talk about a completely unrelated topic that what I'm sure do you none mean you know what by that about. it's the, he's friends with jack harlow because there's also the meme of them in like oh the car. drewski that's it's drewski. drewski what did i say okay. i said Drew- i said drizzy, drizzy. <laughs> I was like, that ain't that's that drake. ain't drake but I did see a video of an old British lady Sorry. singing the Drake intro to Rich Flex, where she's and she's like, 21, can you do something for me?" And I'm just like, "Oh my gosh, <laughs> oh my goodness!" <laughs> Zesty Drake memes are so good, man. I'm so lo- proud to like be able to say that I grew up near Drake. Have you have you like- seen the the Drewski meme of him and Jack Harlow in the car, where the music's playing and they're like. Life like life don't get much better than this, do it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It's like the, the sh- life sure is grand, ain't it, son? It's like and there's like there's like some old timey music playing in the background. It's like this bizarre like Bro, Jack Harlow and Drewski are such a W duo. I know, like, they're hilarious. <laughs> or when Jack Harlow was literally like performing live on one of the um award shows and he had some fancy set, right? And uh-huh. one of the parts he's on like a plane. And Drewski's sitting on the plane, and as Jack Harlow's performing, Drewski just blatantly stares at Jack Harlow's butt and just lips like, "Damn." <laughs> it's so good. Um, what is, okay, what well, actually? Hold up. What is who, what does Drewski do? I like, guess a is, comedian. <laughs> no, like because I I, that... I know who he is, but I don't know who he is. Like you know what I'm like? I have no idea what he does. Absolutely. Yeah, he's a he's a, he's a comedian. Okay, well, he is kind of funny sometimes, so I'll give him that. Drew the- Dowett Desbordes, known online under the name Drewski, is an American internet personality. He's known for collaborating with various rappers in their music videos, like Jack Harlow, Drake, and others. But like, how do sketches. you? But like, how did get he- there? How did he no get? clue, no clue. But he's living Money? life now. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Um, how did we get on this again? I. Oh yeah, there's something you about did a thing rich and I dudes. made a reference. There's something about rich suits playing cards, and it's everything's ice cold, and everyone's smart, and I like it. And mm-hmm. there's boxing in it, so like yeah, yeah. Speaking Do you of know box- who Matt Damon is, by the way? I'm I'm curious. Uh, no, I know the name. Okay, well Matt Damon. If you said it, it like I'm assuming Matt Damon's in this. I don't know who Matt Damon. Matt. Was. Okay, he he was in this. He played so in. The Jason Bourne movies in the Bourne movies, which maybe we'll watch eventually if this podcast continues to thrive in the future. Um, he he plays Jason Bourne in the Bourne movies, and then uh, he, in this movie he uh plays the guy. I think I mentioned it earlier. He plays the guy who pickpockets. That you know what I'm talking about. Like the younger guy. Yeah, he, yeah, that he's, gets him he's in younger. Trouble. Um, because at the beginning of the movie, Danny sees him yeah. pickpocket someone. Or he's, yeah. he's looking for him specifically because he's been recommended. And, and then Danny pickpockets him and leaves Speaking him. Speaking of there. that, what a rat of a guy, right? So they're in the Dude. back of this minivan, Matt Damon. Pickpocket boy. Okay. They're in the back of this minivan. Now I'm skipping I'm skipping ahead later in the movie. They realize they need to shut all the power in Las Vegas off. So they go to get this big thing. And they break in and they do this crazy thing. And this guy, who was instructed to stay in the van... Decides, oh, I'm going to leave the van and go inside. What do you know? Bro's not slick with it like that. Cops are <laughs> after him. He's got to break windows and jump into the cars. And then the Asian guy gets his hand slammed by a car door. So Matt Damon's character sucks. Big L character. Other than the fact he pulls the heist through at the end. L character. <laughs> L character. <laughs> look, look, you're young. You're brash. You got to make a few mistakes. You got life to live. You got things to learn from, you know? He's not as old as Danny and Rusty. Yeah, he's about as Rusty. So, <sighs> All right. Rusty <laughs> implies that you've been in the game for a while. Or you just suck. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> or that'd be Dusty. <sighs> Crusty. Dust. Crusty. Dusty. Crusty. Dusty Musty. A kid in my cr- in one of the classes that I work with. Wait, actually... you quoted Drake. That's a Drake line. What? <laughs> Four what? words, and I think about you as <laughs> dusty, crusty, musty, something else. <laughs> That's literally on the new Drake album. Okay. <laughs> it's one of those corny Drake lines that everyone's like, bro, how did we get this? Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but we've... anyway, where were we at? We've hardly talked about Ocean's Eleven yet. <laughs> we talked about it's a good movie we swear it is it's a very good movie so 
I'll let you talk, Evan. Go. <laughs> well, we kind of did the the recap. It's it's pretty simple. There's no point trying to explain all the details of the heist. Basically, they do a crazy ambitious heist to rob this guy who's taken uh, Daniel's ex wife, and they and take his money. And he's also kind of taken over some casinos from one of their friends, Ruben. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so they don't like. He's got guy. a target on his back. They don't like this guy. And, anyways, there's one. The way he ends up winning this girl, or his ex-wife back, is when they get the money. And this is my favorite part, for a really funny reason. So they get the money. They do this crazy elaborate scheme where they're like faking robbing it, but they're actually robbing it, and they're doing all. It's crazy. Uh huh. And, um. When they get the money, he gets a call. All right, so the Benedict, the guy, the evil guy, not evil guy, but the guy who owns the casino that we don't like. Yeah. Gets a call from, uh, oh my gosh, which character? What's his name? Why Describe can't I him. I would say the acting name, but I forget it. I know, you would. List and actor names that, you don't. that are in this movie. Okay, I don't know literally every... Okay. There's George Clooney, Matt Damon. Who's the other one? Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Okay, Brad Rusty? Pitt's character. Yes. Go, bro, my gosh, bro. I hate I'm you. I'm so bad. I'm so, we I'm literally so, I just enjoyed said this his movie. Name. That's the thing. <laughs> like, so he calls Benedict, and he's like, all right, we got your money, and here's the deal, right? We're going to either take $80 million, So if you if you cooperate with us, we'll take $80 million, You keep Eighty million, because you have one hundred and sixty million in your bank. If you yeah. try to stop us, we will blow it all up. So, the situation they're alpha in is—it's so alpha, like the size of the schlongs on display here, <laughs> massive. And so the the, the swinging the propos- yeah exactly the proposition here is <laughs> they can either lose half their money or they can lose all of their money. Obviously, you're only gonna want to lose half the money. And the other thing yeah. is. When they're asking about returning the money, uh, he says, "Would do you want the money or your wife? Who would you pick?" And he says he'll oh. take the money. He doesn't even oh. hesitate, not knowing his wife's listening in on that, which is how the wife ends up going back to the guy. The Tough. reason I love that phone call scene is because me and my buddy, the one who's spamming my phone before this, yeah, we make playlists one a month. I think I've told you about this. Yeah, you have. Every month we make a playlist. And so my March 2021 playlist, I went for, like, kind of late night, but just very, like, rich. Wanted to feel wealthy. So I made the cover look like (laughs) a casino, right? Okay. And I had not watched Ocean's Eleven yet. But I remember I was – I like playing around and making different interludes and transitions for my playlist because I'm try hard like that, and I had time like that because we were in lockdown. Yeah. So anyways, I was looking up – I was trying to think, what, like – Casino things. So I was looking up like like casino scenes in movies. See if I could get anything cold, right? Anything cool. And I came across this phone call scene where he's like, um, congratulations, you've got into my safe. You're a dead man. And um, then on the call, he's like, not really. He's like, we got 80 million. And as he's explaining this, right? I took that sound bite. Oh, really? Used it in... One, I'll send you it. I used it in one of my little interludes I made that because I, I like making little transitions into the songs. Then I had like an extended intro from Heartless by the weekend. I found like a remixed version online and kind of have like the Heartless thing slowly creeping up as the phone call is going on. And then it transitions right into Heartless by the weekend. So I'm sitting there watching the movie. And when Benedict goes like, congratulations, you're in my safe. You're the dead man. I'm like, yo! <laughs> This is, I know this scene. I love that you took a sound bite from a movie that you never watched and threw it into one of your mixes. It works so well. <laughs> I was like, yo. I mean, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. It is cool, but it's also like, it's so, slightly disappointing. Like if, cause like if somebody had been like, where'd you get that? You would have been like, I don't, I don't know. know. YouTube, bro. <laughs> YouTube. It's like the, I have a meme. I think it's hilarious in my camera roll right now. It's like me going back into the past, like a hundred, like a hundred years. And it's just this dude sitting on a rock next to a bunch of like people from a hundred years ago. And they're like, 
so how do you make this electricity? And he goes, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, I don't know. I just like the idea of, like, somebody, like me, somebody's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to blow everybody's mind with all the stuff I know when I go back into the past. And this dude, they're <laughs> like, so what? So how do you make electricity? I don't know. <laughs> Where Something is this about place? that makes me laugh so much. Okay. <clears throat> ah, are you looking for the playlist right now? Yeah, I got it. It goes from Gorgeous by Kanye back in 2010. Okay. Into that little transition into Heartless by the Weekend. What a beautiful set of three songs. Um But that was so cool. When that scene came on, I was just like my mind was blown. I was like, "Yo!" My favorite Bonkers. Kanye song is Poop Diddy Scoop Diddy. I Poop actually, diddy, scoop, in my, fun fact, in my yearbook, I put Lift Yourself by Kanye as my favorite song. <laughs> That's the Poop okay. Diddy Scoop one. So, oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I hate you. That's like your senior thing. <laughs> Bro, they took out my senior quote. Oh, yeah, I think you meant, what, what was it? There was two I was battling between. Uh-huh. So the one I was going to use from my math teacher when she said, Evan, why are you even in my class? But I thought to myself, that they might not like that. They might not include that. And I want to have a senior quote. I don't want to be the guy without a senior quote. I'm the guy without a senior quote because they took out my other one I put. I was like, well, I don't know what to put then. So uh-huh. I went, I played nice and safe and just went, Tyler, the creator, like, quote, your girlfriend looks like my mom. And they took it out. I'm like, it's a self diss in every way. Who am I offending? Who am I offending? Your girlfriend looks like my mom. <laughs> oh, bro, that's such a good video, by the way. Have you seen that where he, like, leans at the car window? He's like, I'll whoop your ass. Your girlfriend look like my mom. <laughs> I have not. I have not seen that. I just. <sighs> I'm sending that, is, that to you. That is. Uh, actually, those are both really good quotes. I really do really like that. Evan, why are you even in my class? <laughs> what, what, what was the There's context whole... of that? Like, what was the. Uh, <laughs> so. Basically, I'm not a math guy. All right. Oh, uh, okay. So it was uh, Evan. You're stupid. Why are you? Your boy. In your boy's not mathy <laughs> like that. And but so I, where we're picking our classes, where I, when I, when I'm picking my classes for grade twelve, I'm like I don't really need the advanced math. And my dad, I love my dad. Oh, he's that's it. right. He's okay. an engineer. So he's like, no, you're taking math, university level functions. Let's consider the knowledge I'm going into this with. Oh, uh, so you were that you were that one dude in class. <laughs> Absolutely, you, I was you, that dude. In- you you were me in AP statistics. That's what. <laughs> yeah. Like, so here's what so, happened. So grade nine. I got, I got a quick story after gr- you. Okay, grade nine. I did okay in math. I did fine. I did. I actually did pretty good. Grade ten. I had a second semester, so we did two weeks of math. COVID hits. Boom. There's no school after that. I did not. Like, I tried to follow along, but it didn't work. It didn't make any sense. So then we went into grade 11 math. Well, the way we did it in Canada, because Canada had restrictions all the way up till pretty much April of this year. Yeah. The way we did it at the time was you had one class all day for the entire week. And you did that. You did that. You had five weeks of each class, and it balanced out. So you think I can do six hours of math a day for a week straight five times no and the teachers know that too so you're really doing like you're only doing like half the math because like you can't possibly stay focused for that long however also consider the fact that she's trying to teach grade 10 math because no one understands grade 10 or like some people do but half the class doesn't understand grade 10 math she's trying she's trying to teach you 11th grade math while also teaching 10th grade because but none of it makes sense because it's all blended together so I'm now being forced into grade 12 university level functions with a grade nine math understanding. That's what, <laughs> that's what we're going into. And the other thing is, right, I know I didn't know exactly what I was going to go into, but I knew it wasn't math. <laughs> I knew I was going to go into something like a video thing or like something creative like that. That's the kind of stuff. And I have like an offer on deferral for creative media. It's like video editing and all that stuff. So I knew functions, finding X saying why a graph goes at that point in time i don't need that 
So anyways, <laughs> we did the first test, and I – Saying why a graph goes, ooh, sorry, that yeah. got me. <laughs> I, like, I don't care, frankly. I don't care why it goes like that, and I don't need to know. So <laughs> – First test, I get you like sound a, like my fourth graders. I don't need to know this. I don't need to know but that. But I don't. <laughs> so the first test comes along, I get like a forty or something like that. Not a desirable mark. And so my teacher, who I, I love by the way, not a desirable she's, mark. <laughs> she's going up and down, giving the uh-huh. test back. She gives my test back. She's like, so what are you gonna do to improve? <laughs> And Evan says nothing. You, you not know how straight up I am. <laughs> Evan, you Evan, goes, straight... Evan goes, not a thing. <laughs> you know me. So she comes up and I said, I have no plans to improve. <laughs> That's what I said. And she's like, she's like, well, you're going to have to get this up. I mean, you're going to fail. And I was like, well, because my parents, they got me a tutor and everything, which didn't help. But I was like, well, I have a tutor. So like, I'll just do stuff there. And she's like. Well, you know, like next year, you're not going to have a tutor to rely on. You're going to need to understand. You're going to need to be able to teach this to yourself like on your own. And I was like, I will not be doing this next year. (laughs) I will be doing I will not be doing anything. And so she said, she's like, Evan, why are you even in my class? (laughs) And I was like, because my dad made me. And from then on, bro, she passed me so easy. I got a 70 in that class and I didn't pass a single test, bro. (laughs) Like, I, I wish every... I had a teacher that chill. I wish she just I gave did. me a seventy because she didn't want to tank my average, and she knew there was no purpose in me being here. Like I was sure. such a lost cause. So that that's I the would, story. I would appreciate that so much. That's a real teacher right there. Like oh, I love her. I love her. My stats teacher was also great, but she probably wouldn't have done that. Like she's she's cool, but you know, people teachers are different. I it's whatever you know. If you're gonna if you're gonna be chill and pass me, it's not a big deal. But so my quick story is. My AP statistics senior year, that class. <clears throat> this is, I've taken Real a semester quick, of AP. Fill me in on what AP means. Uh, advanced placement, essentially. It's an AP class is a college level course. It's the same thing as we, we, your your class was like a university level cl- class, right? Yeah, our so ours, but college is different for you. So for us, like university level is the high level, and then college is the is the middle level, and then there's like, um, y'all Canadians doing too much, bro. Well, no, it's just it's just um, university or college level. Those are the two levels. Okay. So when you say college, you mean university level. <laughs> sure. <laughs> anyway, basically, I'm like we got like our first test back that we had ever taken. <clears throat> And she's, like, making a point to hand them down upside down, keep everybody's grades <laughs> private. And she hands me mine. You know I flip everyone's it over. marks. I, I flip it over. Well, no, people aren't really talking a whole lot. It's an advanced placement class, so it's smaller. There's nobody who's, like, actually an idiot or, like, is like gets in troubles in that class. So that's everybody's the thing, well right? behaved. Real yeah. quick. In my class, right, if you're – that was her thing. If you're in this class, you you are using this. You want to be here. You're choosing to be here because you need this. I didn't. Yeah. So yeah. I was yeah. like the entertainment of the class because I didn't care how I did. Yeah. So I just okay. had so, fun. I so was the I, one idiot that shouldn't have been there. <laughs> because cause that's – it's kind of – my situation is kind of similar. I'm not horrible at math, but I'm not like – I'm not like a prodigy either. Like I'm mm-hmm. decent at math. Um, But if like I miss a lesson, it's like, oh, great. <laughs> now I have – you know, like – and so – but I'll finish telling this story. So she's handing back those tests. She hands me mine. I flip it over, and it just uh, ever. She's like, "Okay, guys." She's like saying stuff like, "Okay, guys, let's just keep our grades to ourselves." And I go, "I got a D." <laughs> 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 and everybody's just like, "Yeah." <laughs> it's it's so great. No, I loved that class just because like, I didn't like I messed around, but I didn't like just mess like I paid attention and like I loved I it because I just messed around. I only well. Well, when I say mess around, like, I, like, joked around, but, like, I'm not interrupting class. Like, I'm not, like... Oh, no, see, I... Nah, it, oh, nah. No, see, I wasn't doing any of that. Yeah. But, like, you know, everyone was always interested to see what I got, and it's, like... Yeah. It's a 31! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. But, I remember my teacher, her, her name was Mrs. Myrick. Shout out to Mrs. Myrick. She... Nobody's gonna know who I'm talking about. She's not listening to this, but she's really chill. She was, like, really short. Shorter than I am. Don't make a short wow. joke. Anyway... I'm not even that short, Evan, and you know it. Anyway. I'm not even that short. <clears throat> I, 
what do you want me to <laughs> man <laughs> anyway so there was one time she had to walk out of the classroom for like 10 seconds so i'm like this is an opportunity for for me to meme so she walked out i got up took the apple off of her desk which is kind of stereotypical like teacher thing but she just she just happened to have an apple that day do you guys have smart boards yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. so i just took the apple and put it on top of the smart board so she couldn't reach it and i and then, and then she was like where's my apple and then i'm she surprised looked, you could she, Bro, all right, all right. I'm about to leave this call. <laughs> but yeah, it was. I I would mess around in there. But she she liked me. I was her token, like, like kind of like yeah, Jaren. Like I think I barely got a B minus in the first semester. Second semester was when COVID hit. I got it like a a D probably. So wait, yours? Wait, what? You do school? Wait, you have one class all year? Yeah. It depends on the class. Some classes are only one semester, but like math is a full certain huh. the higher the higher math uh classes, like the the like I think like pro- geometry is probably one semester if I but I never had to take it in high school. You have a ge- geometry class. That's nuts. I t- okay. I took geometry in the heck yeah, is that's... that? Is your exam like what shape is this? It's doing stuff that it's doing <laughs> stuff with shapes. That's pretty much what geometry is. It's do, do you yeah. know the you know the Pythagorean theorem? Do you remember that? Oh yeah, a plus That's geometry. a times b equals c, a plus b. Equals or at least that. Well, actually, that might be algebra, but we use it in geometry. I don't remember. It blends. I could just be wrong, but geometry is a thing. Bro, um, I swear, we were using Pythagorean theorem in my functions class, and I was like, "This ain't a triangle. How are we using Pythagorean <laughs> theorem on?" <laughs> hey, yo, teacher, you did something wrong. This isn't a triangle. You don't. That's know what I was the... saying. I was like. <laughs> I'm imagining I'm imagining high school Evan a couple years ago going, Hey yo teacher, you're teaching it wrong. This <laughs> isn't a triangle, you idiot. Well you already know did you use ever use Desmos? A calculator thing? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You already know whenever we were doing Desmos stuff, I just made like penises. <laughs> What? I just like Google how to make a Bro. circle on a graph. And then, like, <laughs> it was so good. Stop. All right, we're we're ditching Stop. Ocean's Eleven for a minute because I have another good for... school story. Hey yo, and then what the? <laughs> Bro, I okay. That's like. Okay, that kind of behavior is like kids that I don't hang out with behavior, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, really? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Like it was in the like it sounds stupid in the moment it was funnier in the moment it was funny. <laughs> okay, I can imagine. Okay, no, I'm gonna be honest with you. In like freshman year of high school or like sophomore year when I was younger, I probably would have thought that was hilarious. Like, well, here's actually. something truly funny. Even when I was a senior, I probably would have been like, "That's some funny stuff, bro." <laughs> exactly. Yo, so- he gr- he graphed a penis, bro. <laughs> We did so much fun stuff in that class. Like, even though I didn't understand a thing, it was one of my favorite classes of all time. One of the things we did. That's we how it was in... for me. Because I, the teacher, when you have a good teacher. Exactly. You know. But it was a good class too. All my yeah. friends were in that class. So there's one, there's so many stories. This one made the yearbook for good darn reason we deserve to. So my buddy, he was like, yo, I'm bringing, he's in the group chat. He's like, I'm bringing steak tomorrow for lunch. And we're like, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> thanks for telling us. Exactly. <laughs> thanks for telling us what you're bringing for lunch. And so then our one buddy is like, oh, are you going to wear a suit for that? Like fancy occasion or something? What's and then the occasion? Does. And then we we're like, well, let's do it. So, you know, we all pulled up in suits, fully dripped out. We got, we had plates and everything. So as soon as the teacher. Oh, the, so was, here's the thing remember, real, quick, real quick, real quick. I remember when this happened. You, I, you sent me a picture of it. Yes, I did. Yeah. So back in COVID days. We had and by COVID days I mean literally like 2022 because Canada. You would eat lunch in your so you had instead of one class all day you had one class for two periods in the morning one class for two periods in the afternoon and you ate lunch in your afternoon classroom. So our teacher would go to the staff room to get her lunch and then bring it back and eat in the class because she liked hanging out with us because she was a G. Yeah. So when she left we were like right on it. We brought some desks together to make like a big table. We whipped out placemats. We handed out, just like the, the six of us, placemats, plates. We had candles. It was a candlelit dinner. We are all in our suits. Did and you she light the candles? She hadn't seen us. Yet. One of them, we actually lit a candle. I don't know how we got a lighter in the school. But <laughs> in the States, you get like swatted for that. Oh, but... it depends. Okay, chill, 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 chill. It depends on where <laughs> you're at. It depends on crime. 
some schools are just way more like some schools have metal detectors i never at my school never once had to get like bro our okay so i have one uh, long story short it was really funny because she comes back and we we shut the lights off and the six of us are having a candle lit steak dinner in suits and yearbook came to pictures of us this there's one it's nuts this happened like a few weeks ago my friend who moved to kentucky like they literally had an incident where like a kid showed up with guns at the school so they yeah. had to go into like a full lockdown like all the police like barreling towards the school like all this it was kind of scary and he was just trolling the entire time like he's like that but i don't know if he was trying to make himself feel better but he's just like texting the group chat just completely memeing on his own school i'm like bro bro but nothing happened everyone was okay good um i've been having fun with these stories but we just have probably if you got another i got so many stories of school we could just make this a school story we'll, we'll, we can talk about them later we need to wrap up talking about oceans i don't even <laughs> what well, you gotta i need you to talk more about it because i've only i've only i've only got the first third fresh well, we did we did the we did the recap if you're looking for Let's my talk- thoughts Talk about the ending. Give us some final thoughts. Talk about the end. Kind of how how well, was I kind of did satisfying? the whole like debacle, and then they wind up getting the money, and he goes back to um, prison for three to six months, not for his involvement in the crime because they didn't catch him for that, but for trespassing his parole, um, and then going out of state. However, the the movie ends. You know, re- I'm assuming this leads into Ocean's Twelve, when he gets picked up from the jail. And their car starts driving off. Another car pulls out behind them, and it's two security guards from the casino. So, I'm assuming that leads into Ocean's 12. I think it might. I need to watch it. Um, I think <laughs> all of them are on Netflix. So. They are. That made it nice and easy for me. Yeah. So, have you already watched? Or have you just watched I've only seen 11. I've only seen okay. 11. Okay. Yeah. So, I guess... Uh... I honestly probably won't rate it because I it's not fresh enough. I'm gonna finish it and maybe I'll give a retroactive review <laughs> when we do Oceans Twelve. Um, but if you would, which like I'm to give so us down here, for, yeah, Very we're going movie. to uh, we're going to do the whole trilogy. That well, honestly, we won't alternate. We can just do Oceans. Let's just grind. Let's just grind them out. Yeah, I like yeah, we'll it. D- As for rating, like I said, bro, it's got to be either this or Casino Royale. Although okay, I mean, look, the Bond, look, the I'm gonna Bond be honest, movies, I'm the gonna Bond be honest, are very good. Yeah, they're okay. Look, uh, Ocean's Eleven is awesome. It's a fun time, but I think it's a slightly different experience. And yes, there's like gambling. That's what I'm and, thinking. That's what I'm thinking. It's a bit. It's a. I bit think. Shallow. I think Casino. Roy- I think Casino Royale just is a better movie. Oh no! I, I'm yeah, not no. Say- I don't think it passes Casino. I know I was saying, but I don't think it passes Casino. You're Royale. saying I'm enjoyment thinking- level, kind of maybe, because this one's really fun. It's just a great. I, just I'm a still taking time. Casino Royale. Okay. I'm trying to think like the other one. Like, is this second or are we saying like um? the other bond movies so i think oceans 11 is really good and i do need to finish rewatching it but <clears throat> i i would probably place at least skyfall and casino royale above oceans 11 oceans 11 is probably maybe better than the rest of them maybe no no time to die it it depends on how much you like no time to die i really like no time to die obviously i'm just not sure if it's better than oceans 11 i don't know I'm thinking. But I won't score it yet. Ah, uh, yeah, it's tough because they are so different. I'd probably. S- I'm trying to think if I'd still put it below Skyfall, and I think Skyfall is the better movie. So. Okay. Mm. But very good, very very good movie. One of my favorites we've watched. So. Slap a number on it though. Slap a number on it. Eight point four. Oh, okay. I don't remember what you gave Skyfall or Casino Royale, but I can't hear you. Uh oh. What's happening? What's happening? Evan, talk to me. Evan, Evan, Evan. Ah, ah. I'm going to leave this in the recording. <laughs> Evan. Oh, oh, I hear things. All right. So my microphone Wait, likes to do up. this. Hold up. Yep. I thought I could talk. Yep. Okay. Can, My microphone okay, likes to do this thing where it randomly cuts out. At least you caught me though. Okay. Yeah. I was. So say, it, we didn't lose much. Me. We didn't lose much. Yeah, we're good. You'll so just, <laughs> the audience uh, will just have me going. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I. 
I forget what I gave some of the other movies for ratings wise, but yeah, it's against these, if are, if my numbers are skewed, I'm going Casino Royale still number one, then Skyfall, then Ocean's Eleven. Heck yeah, that's what we're saying. Yeah, I'm actually. I gotta. I'm gonna. Yeah, I I should have time tonight. I'm gonna finish watching Ocean's Eleven, and I might even crank out Ocean's Twelve or something tonight or something, or something, or something, or bro. something, or something. Uh. Yeah, so this episode, honestly, we definitely <laughs> talked about high school uh, more than but I liked it. About Ocean's Eleven. But the thing is, I'm gonna leave it all in because it was, oh, we have I to think leave it all in. Yeah, it's entertaining content. Um. Uh. Yeah, uh, I'm ending the podcast right now. 